step is to prepare the sample inside the uh, nozzle. First thing you do is you grab one of these little filters and put it on top of the base. Then you follow up with a sample holder, which is just a piece of metal with a hole in it. Then using one of the provided spoons, you go and collect a bit of your dust and just position it inside the chamber. Next you must select if you'll use the small and the medium or the medium and the small. For larger powders you want to use the larger one and the medium. The medium one goes on top and this goes on top. For most small pharmaceutical powders you'll want to use the medium nozzle and the small nozzle sits right on top. Then you put the cover on top of the whole assembly and screw it together. Sample now gets placed on the main unit. So this chamber sits right here and it's a bayonet fitting. You just have to rotate it to lock it in place. You put your slides right on the side over here. and then you put the tube right on top. So this is a compression fitting. You just have to make sure that it's tight enough and now we're ready to run the software. In the software, the first step is to create a new test method. So we were um, working on test dust. and then I will set my parameters. So the, the uh, fields on the left are just for information purposes. So in the first nozzle I had the sample holder. And then I put the medium nozzle followed by the small nozzle. The wait, I didn't put a specific. Nope. So you can put something here to help you remember what this um, test was for. So the starting pressure, uh, the first step that uh, the disperser does is to create a vacuum. So this is the target vacuum that you want to create. So based on our research, 100 seems to be a very nice uh, setting. It works for most samples. In fact, I haven't run into a sample where 100 didn't work. Dispersion flow, you have the choice between weak, normal, or strong. Uh, this just determines which valves open up inside the system. So I'll leave it on normal for this test. The next step is that there's a small blast of air that will push the particles into the main chamber of the disperser. So this is to determine the amount of time. So again, I'll leave it in the center at 500 milliseconds. The next setting is the amount of time between the dispersion and the time where it, uh, the air rushes back in to remove the vacuum. So I, I'm going to make sure that I have plenty of time. So I'm going to put it at 30 seconds. So when your test is ready, all you have to do is click run. and the disperser will start creating the vacuum. When it reaches 100, the blast of air will uh, release the particles into the chamber.
So the system is now restoring the air back into the chamber. We're now ready to remove the sample from the disperser. After the dispersion is complete, you remove the top and your slides are ready to be analyzed.